Do you love blue spruce trees? I do. They're some of my favorite trees. Well, this is a tree that I planted at my house in 2001. It's a beautiful tree. It's magnificent. It's a 20-ish feet tall. It's been healthy over the years. It's just one of those when you drive up to a, a driveway or a house, you're like, wow, it's a nice tree. Look at it here in the snow. Isn't it beautiful? Like the you know branches leaning over and it's just stunning. And then at Christmas time, got to put blue lights on it. And, you know, to see it at Christmas, it's just a really nice tree. If you can't tell, I really like this tree. But a few years ago, things started to change. As you can see from the picture here, there's some dead limbs at the bottom. It's browning from the inside. And it was once an extremely healthy tree, 15 plus years. But it was dying from the inside. And for a number of years, I didn't even realize it. You know, after I found it, then, you know, was able to, to do some research. And as you can see here, the needles are falling off and um, it's turning brown. And we started treating it ourselves. We bought things from the store. We mixed up these concoctions that smelled horrible. I mean, just horrific from, you know, Google searches. And we hired an arborist to come out and give us his professional opinion. I mean, we did everything. We did everything we could, but as you can see from the image, it didn't work. Everything we tried, we might have slowed the process down a little bit, but the tree died five years. Five years roughly from the point that I discovered there was an issue, and then you could go a few years probably before that, something had happened. Mites, some mold, something, some issues that you know was the initial reason, the initial reason for the dying of the tree but it died from the inside out as you can see here you know, I had to cut it down I had to get my chainsaw I had to go out and take care of this dead tree in our yard so what caused the problem why did this tree just suddenly start having these issues when it hadn't had issues before simple it was in the wrong environment it was a tree that was made it was created to be in a certain type of environment. It had to get cold enough every winter to give the tree time to replenish and grow and fight off the, the, the mites and things that grow on a tree like this. But since it was in the wrong area, it, has, it was not being able to recycle. And so because of that, it had this issue. And here's the thing, I knew it. I knew there was an issue when I planted it because when I bought it, I was told, hey, this is on the line. I was warned. I was warned by the person who, you know, sold it to me in the mountains. I was warned by the landscaper who was uh, helping me on my yard. Hey, this tree is not made for this area. It might survive for a while, but eventually it's going to start doing bad. I did it my way. I wanted that tree. I liked that tree, but I set it up for failure. So what was the result of all of this? I ended up with a dead tree. I ended up with dead grass. As you can see, there's all the issues around it that I'm going to have to deal with. And ended up with lots of roots all running throughout. It's going to be years before I can plant something else, you know, here in this spot. I had to get my drill out and, a, and a, uh, get some stump remover. And now I've got to work on, you know, redoing this area. It's a mess. There's time, there's energy, there's expenses, and there's years of taking care of this. You know, when you think about this, I lost the tree, but I've lost a lot of other things, right? Time, energy, money, focus, having to deal with it, all of those things. So, you know, I want to ask you a question. Are you like this tree? You know, for a time in your, your life, everything's going magnificent. Everything's going well. There's no issues. But down deep, where people can't see yet, where no one knows there's some issues going on, there's some turbulence, there's some browning, there's some needles falling off. Or are you at the stage where, you know, people are starting to see, hey, there's something going on in, the, in this life. There's, there's some, some attitudes and temperaments or the way things are being done. People are starting to notice and they're starting to say things to you in once in a while. Hey, what's going on? The issue is like this tree, you got to ask yourself, are you in the wrong spot? Have you planted yourself in the wrong spot? Are you in the wrong environment? Are you on the line? You know, you're almost where you need to be, but you're not. And since you're not, it's causing problems. It's causing things with internally 
that no one knows about or a little bit externally that you're going to have to deal with. You know, these things are causing stress and conflict and pain and hurt and anxiety. Things are going on in your life. You're not able to get your arms around. You can't get the puzzles to fit together like you used to be able to. It's kind of like this tree. For years it was healthy and then it wasn't. So what is it here? What does this all have to do together? Well, thankfully, you have the ability to move. You have the ability to change. This tree didn't. That's where it was planted and that's where it had to stay. But you don't have to stay where you've planted yourself. It's time to move. It's time to dig into God's Word and develop your relationship with Him and develop your prayer life and really start focusing on what's God's will. Where's the environment? Where's the plant He, the place He wants you to plant yourself so you can grow? But in the short term, in the middle term, in the long term, God might move you in different areas. But if we don't move, then it starts to cause problems. We start to die from the inside. We start to become miserable and we start to, because we're walking away from the Lord, we're moved away from the Lord or we're stagnant from the Lord. Therefore, we're not going to be able to, to sustain the growth because there's going to be things that we can't deal with ourselves. And it's like the mites on the tree. There's going to be things we can't deal with. And until we get to where God wants us to be, they're going to continue to eat at us. So if I can help you in any way, my name is Nathan Tabor. I run a ministry called Handling Life. And it's basically, how do you take God's word? How do you take his writings and apply it to your life? And a lot of this is based on my own story, my own struggles, my own, how do I take business? How do I take, you know, fitness and finance and my relationship with my wife and all the things? How do I take those and apply God's word to them? And at times you have to dig in. And at times you have to ask others. And at times you have to seek wisdom from others. Hey, how do I handle this? And see, had I taken the advice, had I taken the instructions from those who knew, those who had been there, those who had studied this, had I taken their advice, I wouldn't have planted the tree there in the first place. I would not have done that because I was setting it up for failure. And I just want you to know, don't set yourself up for failure. Don't do things because you want to do them your way and you think your plan's going to work. If you're a Christian and you have a relationship with God, go ahead and start doing it His way and just see what will happen in your life and what God can do when we're serving Him. Again, if you want to find out more about this ministry or find out about other information, you can visit handlinglife.org.